Hey there neighbors, welcome to Wild Homestead Living. I'm Julie, and I'm wondering if you are excited about the idea of growing or foraging your own berries, but maybe don't have the space or comfort level to do that yet on your own? Well, if that is you, then a you pick berry farm might be just the thing for you. And we're gonna cover that today. Let's get started. We're out here today at our favorite blueberry farm. And chances are wherever you live, there's probably a blueberry farm or another kind of you pick berry farm within easy driving distance. There's a lot of reasons to love the you pick option. We'll go over them now. Before Kevin and I lived out here in the country, this was one of my favorite places to come. And even afterwards, we still come here every year because there's a lot of reasons to enjoy going to the you pick farm. One of them you might be able to hear or see is just the opportunity to be surrounded by nature. It's a really just calming and peaceful experience to connect with your food growing right on the vine. There's other reasons to love the you pick as well, including that it's usually a lot cheaper than stocking up at the grocery store or even the local farmer's market because you're doing the labor yourself. So the farms don't have to pay laborers to do that work. It's also usually a way that the farms can make more money than if they were selling to a grocery store or another supplier because they're cutting out the middleman. And that's great for small family farms that are really struggling with big agriculture and competition today because it allows them to usually keep their farms just going through a you pick season. Another great reason to come out to a you pick farm is to start to get comfortable with wild foraging. Coming out to a place where you know that the plants are safe to pick from and eat from can be great for the whole family to get comfortable with foraging for your own food before you make that step going into the wild. I've got a few quick tips about locating your local you pick. The first one is many of these small family farms don't have websites, but they usually have Facebook pages. So searching on Facebook or social media is a good idea. If that's not an option for you, then checking with your county local agricultural extension, they may have a list for you to look into. If you're concerned about whether it's organic or not, once you get a contact information, whether it's an email address, a Facebook page, a phone number, you can usually get right in touch with the farmer and they can let you know if they're organic. Many local farms are not certified organic because it's a very expensive, long, complicated process, but they may be using organic methods, so you can check in with them on that. Lastly, Kevin and I usually pick in very high volumes, and so we bring our own containers. But most you picks have containers for you to pick into, as well as cardboard boxes for you to take home at the end of your trip. So to sum up, you picks are great, wholesome fun for the whole family, as well as a way to participate in your food supply system, save money, and support local family farms at the same time. If you're interested in tips and stories like this, we would love for you to come over to our website at wildhomesteadliving.com, where you can sign up for our newsletter, and we send out information exclusive to our community that way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Is there anything in my nose? <laughs> Sorry, okay. Take 72. Bears have been here. <laughs>